Hi, I'm Adam Drake from You Can Seek Your Racing. Today I'm gonna to go over the steps needed after you receive an engine from me uh, where I do my break-in process using the hot oil bath. So here we have one of the OS B21 Thai 2 engines. Uh, these just came out. I just broke it in for a customer. And when you receive the engine, I will have already set the low speed needle, the high speed needle, the mid speed, as well as the idle gap. I also put a zip tie on the carburetor boot and uh, pretty much go through the carburetor, make sure everything is set and ready to fire. Now, in most cases, the idle will be slightly high uh, when you go to throw it on the tracker once it's fully saturated with heat, but the idle is a little bit on the high side just to make it easier starting and so that you can start the process of running uh, the engine. So when you receive the engine, you want to install the clutch, air filter, align the carburetor, and also uh, your linkage for your vehicle. From there, install the engine into the vehicle, and then you'll want to preheat the engine. I use the track power 12 volt heater. Um, with the low profile head, you have to cut the heater, uh, but it still wraps around and uh, you can still use it on traditional like spec three or spec two heads as well. But uh, if you don't have a track power heater, you can just use a old school heat gun. And from there, you'll just want to prime the engine. And again, carburetor should be set. It could, it could need a little bit of uh, slight adjustment or tweaking depending on your vehicle, uh, the weather, elevation, uh, but overall the settings should be extremely co close uh, for pretty much all conditions. So once you start the engine, you'll want to go ahead and let it basically just idle and heat saturate for one to two minutes. During this time, you can fine tune the idle but again, once it's fully saturated with heat and you rev the engine a little bit, the idle could come up or be slightly high. From there, you can go ahead and start running the vehicle either on the track or in the parking lot. And the engine should be pretty crisp on bottom to mid, but the high speed needle will still be a little bit rich. So from there, I go ahead and run the engine for about five minutes and at this point, you'll only want to adjust the high speed needle maybe an hour or so. Um, after that five minutes of running, I go ahead and stop the engine, make sure that the piston is at bottom dead center, and let the engine cool for 10 or 12 minutes. Then you'll go ahead and reheat the engine again and basically repeat this process um, of letting it heat saturate and then running it for five minutes. During that time, you can go ahead and again, lean the high speed out a little bit if needed. And after that five minutes, kill the engine, make sure the piston's at bottom dead center and let cool again for 10 or 12 minutes. Now the third cycle, uh, same thing, preheat the engine, let heat saturate once it's running for one to two minutes and you can pretty much um, you know, go to race tune at this point. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything if you're a little bit conservative, but uh, again, after, after the three heat cycles, pretty much can go out on the track and, and put race tune on it, make final adjustments to the idle. And uh, just remember that over the next half to one gallon, the engine will continue to improve, but overall, you should be able to go out and, and really have an enjoyable day of running first day at the track after this you know, kind of heat cycle process.